taking a lot of favorite features from previous forms like 50 millimeter drivers for clear gaming audio and one of the best mics in a wireless headset, the brand new Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT adds Bluetooth and Dolby Atmos to the spec sheet. With an absolutely huge range of connectivity, the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT is set to be the one wireless headset that rules them all, but that does come at a price. So how does this $270 headset stack up? Well, let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan with 9to5toys, and that's right, Corsair is out with their new wireless flagship, the Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT, which is a new version of their Virtuoso headset. Uh, there are quite a few different options in that lineup. The latest version that we saw was the SE, but this new XT version adds a few new features to the lineup. So first off, let's take a really quick look at some of the notable specs, and then we'll go through a lot more detail on the headset and the software. For connections, the Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT can use either a 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle, USB-C, a 3.5 millimeter port, or Bluetooth. And this makes it compatible with that wireless dongle with PC and Mac and PlayStation. With the 3.5 millimeter port, you can connect to an Xbox controller, or to a different console. And with a Bluetooth connection, you can obviously connect to other Bluetooth enabled devices like a mobile. It's packing the same 50 millimeter drivers with a frequency response of 20 all the way up to 40,000 Hertz. Battery life is 15 hours and it weighs in at 382 grams. Corsair did send this headset over for me to check out, but they are not sponsoring this video. So they have no say in what I'm gonna say about this headset. Getting the headset out of the box included with it is a wide assortment of accessories. In addition to the headset and the wireless adapter, a USB-C charging cable and a 3.5 millimeter cable with inline controls can all be stored in this plush storage pouch. The pouch has a soft liner and an extra pocket inside to store cables and the dongle. So this pouch has just a little bit of padding to it to help protect the headset. Uh, as you can see here down at the bottom, there is a little hole. So, you know, it's not like completely sealed or anything like that. So so if you do have something down at the bottom, a small little piece, uh, there's actually a chance that that could fall out. So it's not like uh, completely sealed in here, but it is a nice little protective pouch. And with that pocket, you can put smaller items like the cables or the dongle in that pocket in the inside here. And moving on to the design, uh, if you're familiar with the Virtuoso lineup, then the RGB Wireless XT looks very similar to the other headsets. Black, dark gray, and polished metal accents on the beveled corners keep things simple and sleek. The headband features some impressive flexibility with soft padding. Across the top of the headband is the name Corsair. The ear cups can rotate 180 degrees, which is a feature that most headsets don't have. So whether you like the drivers to point up or down when you take the headset off, the XT can do both of those. On the left ear cup, we have a status LED light, USB-C port, a 3.5 millimeter port, and the detachable microphone port. On the right ear cup is a volume dial, a USB slash wireless switch that powers on the headset, and then Bluetooth controls. There are buttons for volume up, volume down, and a multifunction button that can turn on and off Bluetooth, pause and play music, and skip tracks as well. And one thing I really want to point out here, the volume dial on this right ear cup is probably one of the best that I've seen in a wireless gaming headset like this. Uh, it's really easy to find, but it offers some great feedback. It's not too hard to move, but it's also not too easy to move. Sometimes I've found that some headsets have this really simple little dial that's really easy to bump and to you know put in the wrong place. But uh, with that nice resistance on this here, uh, this is probably one of the best feeling volume dials on a wireless gaming headset that I've tried, so I really enjoy that. And as the name would imply, the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT also incorporates RGB into the headset. When powered off, the Corsair logo is barely visible on the sides of the ear cups, but when powered on, it lights up with fully customizable RGB lighting. And within IQ, adjustments can be made to color, patterns, and brightness. And obviously, you know, looks are subjective, uh, but I really like the looks of the Virtuoso lineup. It's a gaming headset, but they keep things really simple and elegant, and it doesn't look, you know, cheaply made. Obviously, this isn't a cheap headset coming at $270, uh, but it does, uh, in my opinion, carry a premium look as well. Those little polished accents on the edge of the arms here, uh, just the overall look and the materials all feel really high quality. So in my opinion, this headset's gonna fit in whether you're at the battle station, on the subway, or at the office. I think it's a really good looking headset. Comfort seems to be uh, similar to a lot of the other Virtuoso headsets. Uh, I haven't tried the 
previous Virtuoso designs, uh, but it does look very similar. Uh, padding on the top looks very similar to what we've seen with others. You know, there it's not a huge amount of padding up here. There is a little bit. And then on the ear cups, uh, they do have these soft memory foam ear cups that will contour to your head to provide a good seal, but the ear cups aren't super deep in here. So that shallow ear cup matched with a flat kind of uh, driver cover in here actually means that my ears came in contact with the driver cover when I was wearing these. So for really long long-term extended use on these, these aren't going to be the most comfortable headset for me. And obviously that's going to be subjective. I know this is a very popular headset and a lot of people love it and find it to be very comfortable. But for me personally, it's not the most comfortable headset that I've tried. That being said, I still wore it for, you know, probably two hours straight playing Call of Duty Warzone and didn't feel like I had to, you know, tear this thing off because of discomfort. Um, but there are other headsets that I've found to be more comfortable. Uh, you know, even something simple like the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro uh, is a very very simple design, you know, but because there is a little bit more room in there, I found those to be a more comfortable headset than the Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT. And the headband also features little indicators on the side when making sizing adjustments. So if you do have to adjust it often, it's easy to remember, you know, what's the best setting for your head and to dial it in quickly. And while the XT is okay for passive noise cancellation, you know, just for blocking out noises when you have the headphones on, uh, for me, because of those um, more shallow ear cups, I did find the other headsets do it better, like the Razer Black Shark V2 even, and the JBL Quantum 800, which is another headset, another wireless headset that I was comparing with the Virtuoso XT. Both of those headsets provided a little bit more passive noise isolation than what I found on the XT. Now in a relatively quiet environment that doesn't really matter that much because you can just you know turn the volume up you're not gonna hear a whole lot of background noise but if you do if you are playing in a room with a lot of background noise and you know you might have to crank this thing up to block out some of those noises okay so with that variety of connections I found the wireless dongle that wireless connection I think they call it their slipstream wireless I found that to be a better connection than some other wireless headsets that I've tried so I was able to get a little bit further away from my computer with the Virtuoso XT than like the Black Shark V2 Pro or the Quantum 800 and still keep a pretty strong signal. And that wireless dongle can be used on, you know, not only PC and Mac, but it can also be used on PlayStation, uh, which is really great for this headset. And then moving on that connectivity lineup, obviously the USB-C cable is also going to provide really great audio quality when you do have it plugged into a PC or Mac as well. And then that 3.5 millimeter cable with those inline controls make it completely compatible with Xbox, which is awesome. So a huge variety of different consoles and, you know, PC and different devices that you can use the Virtuoso XT on. And with that simultaneous Bluetooth connection, you can be playing on your Xbox and still be chatting on Discord if you have it connected to your phone or computer. And likewise, if you're playing a PC game and you're getting your call come in, uh, you don't have to you know, take the headset off and pick up the phone. All that can come through at the same time, which makes the Virtuoso XT a really versatile headset. So like previous versions of the Virtuoso lineup, the microphone on the XT is also great. The omnidirectional mic picks up a little more body and low end in vocals than most gaming headset mics. You know, they usually sound incredibly thin and sometimes harsh. Uh, with that being said, if I had to be picky, I do think that the Virtuoso could use just a little tweak in the higher frequencies to bring in a little bit more clarity into the voice comms. Ideally, it would be great if there were some adjustments that you could make to the microphone within the IQ software. This is something that Razer does through Synapse on the Black Shark V2 Pro, so you can change the sound of your microphone a little bit. You know, there are times where you want you know, crystal clear communications and you don't want much low end or body to it, but then there are other times where you do want it to sound more natural. So so it would be great to have the ability to make those adjustments within IQ. But all that being said, the microphone on the Virtuoso XT is definitely one of the best when it comes to a wireless gaming headset. So here we'll let you hear it for yourself and we'll do a sound test with the Virtuoso XT. All right, so here we'll do a quick microphone test on the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT. Uh, hopefully you can get a good idea of what it sounds like. I mean, like I said earlier, I think it's just a really great sounding microphone. It has a little bit more low end, a little bit more body than a lot of other gaming headsets, especially wireless headsets. Uh, I do think it could use maybe use just a little bit tweaks, bring a little bit more like high end, a little bit more presence, uh, but that's just me being a little bit picky. But I also wanted to check and see how it does with, you know, cutting out some background noise. So I grabbed the Razer Huntsman Mini with its purple optical switches, which is uh, one of the clickiest uh, keyboards I have here. And so here we'll get an idea for what that sounds like when I'm just kind of hitting WSAD and spacebar like I would when I'm gaming. 
So hopefully this helps to give kind of a good idea of what it's doing to knock out background noise. And obviously in Discord, there are some different settings, you know, if you're talking on Discord to kind of knock out some of that background noise if that's something you want to do. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT microphone sounds like. Okay, and moving on to sound quality. Out of the box, the Virtuoso XT sounds very clear and with a pretty flat EQ profile, and it seems to favor the mids more than a lot of other gaming headsets. Lows are still present and clear and punchy, but they definitely don't overpower the rest of the frequency range. Likewise, highs are crisp and clear, but they aren't pushed forward or harsh. And as a gaming headset, I think that this is great for clarity when it comes to picking out, you know, crucial in-game audio cues. And even in its most standard listening mode, I found the XT to have great separation and positioning when gaming. So when gaming with that boost in clarity, you know, playing games like Call of Duty Warzone where it's a really cluttered soundscape with jets flying overhead, explosions in the distance, uh, reloads, and voice communications all going off at the same time, it made it really easy to pick out a lot of those different noises and pay attention to, you know, really important cues like footsteps or reloads or voice communications. And likewise, listening to music made it easy to pick out different instruments in some of my favorite tracks, like Sound and Keller from the Alabama Shakes, with some gritty and bitey strings thanks to that boost in mid-frequencies. But to take that even to the next level, uh, the XT supports Dolby Atmos. And if you aren't aware, Atmos is a surround sound technology that typically has been seen in home theater setups with speakers either placed above the listening area or upward firing like those found in the Focal Sib Evo 5.1.2 system that we took a look at a little while ago. But for the Virtuoso XT, that can be enabled on a PC through the Dolby Atmos app. Typically getting Dolby Atmos through the Access app can cost $15, uh, but Corsair has provided that license. So as soon as you plug this thing in, the Dolby Access app will recognize that you have a RGB Wireless XT plugged in and it will be able to enable Dolby Atmos for this headset. And while the XT doesn't incorporate any speakers above or anything like that, Atmos helps to process audio and place sound effects in the soundstage in a more immersive way for separation and clarity. And in my experience, it actually helps. And enabling Dolby Atmos does negate any sort of EQ tweaks that you make within the IQ software for the XT, uh, but the Dolby Access app has its own suite of EQ controls. So if you do want to do some tweaking in there and set up your own profile, that's really easy to do within the Access app. So typically when gaming, I turn a lot of virtual surround sound modes like this off. I usually find that they just change like even the frequencies and like the sound effects. And so it doesn't sound natural and isn't really enjoyable in my experience. Uh, but with Dolby Atmos, I found myself definitely preferring that turned on over the standard mode. Directional audio seemed easier to pinpoint for gunfire and footsteps when playing Warzone. And now it's not like a night and day difference that instantly turned me into a first person shooter god or anything like that. Uh, but I definitely found myself preferring the Dolby Atmos mode when gaming and really even when listening to music. I didn't find a reason that I had to turn it off. So for both gaming and listening to music, uh, I think that the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT is a great sounding headset with some great you know, positional clarity for pinpointing different audio cues. But listening doesn't stop just on the battlefield. You know, you can take this and listen to Dolby Atmos Media on Netflix or you know, any other streaming service. And uh, watching Six Underground, which has been my fun way to test out different uh, sound modes when watching media recently, I found that really chaotic scenes, you know, rendered the audio really well to be able to pick out what's going on, tell what directions different sound effects are coming from, and it was a really fun way to watch, you know, chaotic action scenes. And moving on to the software side, when you don't have uh, Dolby Access and Dolby Atmos enabled, you can make a lot of tweaks to the XT within Corsair's IQ app. There are plenty of varied presets, or you can make your own custom ones to whatever your desire. Some of the presets are pretty heavy handed in my opinion, like the bass boost which maxes out both the 32Hz and the 64Hz sliders at plus 12dB, but that's where you can you know, bring in your own custom tweaks and change it to whatever you like. You can also make all those adjustments to the lighting in here if you want, and you can also make a couple of tweaks to the microphone in terms of microphone volume and enabling some side tone so that you can hear yourself through the headset when you are speaking. All right, so a real quick look at some of the competition. You know, we talked about the Virtuoso XT being $270, which is a lot to pay for a wireless gaming headset. And that pretty much opens it up to being compared with, you know, 
any other wireless DME has it out there just because of that price. So the two that I really spent time comparing between were the Razer Black Shark V2 Pro, which comes in at $160, and the JBL Quantum 800, which comes in at $200. The Black Shark lineup has gotten a lot of great press for their comfort and sound quality for the price, and the Quantum 800 also includes Bluetooth connectivity, but also includes active noise cancelling with some of the craziest RGB we've seen in a wireless headset. But the Quantum 800 can't be used while charging and doesn't have the greatest battery life. And I'd say that both the Razer and the JBL fall short of the Virtuoso XT when it comes to clarity for gaming and positioning. So when it comes down to it, you know, I think that there is definitely a reason why Corsair keeps iterating on the Virtuoso lineup and just adding more features to it instead of, you know, completely setting it aside and scrapping it. They've developed a really great sounding and looking headset and just keep adding more features to it for those who seek more out of it. For me personally, I do wish that there was more padding on the ear cups or some tweaking to the driver covers for comfort, but that isn't going to be the same story for everyone's ears. Adding both Bluetooth and Dolby Atmos, in my opinion, are both huge additions, mainly because they can all be used at the exact same time. Uh, when I was using this headset, I pretty much never turned the Dolby Atmos sound mode off, and then you can always have it connected to your phone as well if you do want to take calls or watch something else or get some sort of prompt. Combine that with the detailed and clear soundstage for competitive gaming and one of the best sounding microphones in the business on a wireless headset and Corsair has delivered another high quality wireless gaming headset in the Virtuoso lineup. Well and that'll do it for our review of the Corsair Virtuoso RGB Wireless XT. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.